In this Stages Flight video tutorial, I want to show you two ways to keep your Windows computer running at its best. First, let's just simply restart the computer. This is a good idea to do at least once a week. So from here, let's shut down Stages Flight. Then let's bring the pointer over to the Windows key tap on it, work your way up to the power icon, and select restart. One thing to be aware of, if there are updates that are ready to install on these Windows computers, when you get to this point where it says shut down or restart, it will say shut down or restart after the update. If you have a class starting in the next hour, I would not restart the computer because sometimes those updates can take quite a while. So that would be something you would do after classes are over or when you're going home for the day. But we don't have that, so I will click restart. Okay, in most cases, it's gonna take anywhere between 30 seconds and three minutes for the system to restart. If it's loading one of those updates, it could take quite a bit longer. Okay, so system restart. Once a week, good thing to do. Now let's make sure your laptop is up to date with all the latest Windows updates. Let's close down Stages Flight. Let's bring the pointer over to the Windows icon, click on it. Let's click on Settings this time. Let's navigate down to Update and Settings. And let's select Check for Updates. Now Windows sends out their updates on the second Tuesday of every month. I would recommend on the second Wednesday of each month, you all go in and check that your system is up to date. Now my system is up to date. If it was not, it would start loading updates immediately. Those updates could take a little while, 20 minutes, up to an hour. Um, make sure that you have plenty of time between classes if you're gonna do this, or do it in the evening when classes are done. Once it loads all of those updates, you're going to select Restart. And there'll be a little icon over here, a little box. You'll click Restart. The system will restart. And, it get, and again, it could take anywhere from three minutes to three hours to load these updates. So I would be sure that I do not have a class coming up. Once it's up to date, you're ready to go. Um, if you're doing it every month, then it shouldn't take that long. But if you've had your laptop for a year or so, and you haven't done any updates or no updates have been loaded, that first time could take quite a while. That is our first video tutorial on keeping your Windows laptop up to date and running at its best.